don't. I think I'm gonna be one short. This is it, boys. Astro Horizon? Is this yo, the one? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got it! Oh, <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Dude. Dude, you got the perfect dice. Clip nice. it, chat. I'll, I'll copy that shit, bro. Bro. We did. What's going on guys? After that, here with all your tips, recommendations, and everything in between. And today, we are talking about Astral Horizon since I finally got a pretty good role that I'm excited to share with you guys. If you couldn't tell, and we will be talking about why it's so important you get your hands on this shotgun. Let's get into it. Astral Horizon is infamously known as the weapon that started token farming at three wins back in week two of Trials of Osiris. As you may have guessed, this weapon can only be obtained via trials, either when it is in the reward rotation, meaning wins three, five, seven, or the flawless chest. Or if you have a hard time in trials, you could simply turn in tokens and pray like I did until RNGesus shows mercy on you. If you guys couldn't tell from the clip, I've been grinding for this shotgun for a long time. Getting the stats on Astral Horizon, it's a kinetic 55 RPM aggressive frame shotgun, meaning it's competing with the current king of shotguns, your Mindbender's Ambition, which resides in the energy slot. And you know we wouldn't be talking about Astral if it wasn't a serious competitor to the Mindbender's. Getting into the role of my Astral Horizon, mine's rocking full choke for the barrel, Acralized rounds for range or tactical mag for some increased reload speed, quick draw, and the IC on the cake opening shot for the initial boost to range and accuracy on the opening shot of attack with the reload masterwork, which I'll discuss in a second. Now, in terms of rolls, what you guys are going to be looking for here as far as barrels, I'd be happy with either full choke or rifled barrel. In the next column, the ideal perk would be assault mag to make your shotty fire just a touch quicker, followed by either tactical mag or accurized rounds. And for the last two guys, I honestly wouldn't settle for anything less than quick draw and opening shot. I've had a quick draw swashbuckler, a quick draw celerity, and you know the consistency and one hit kill between the two rolls is night and day. Lastly, for the masterwork, I would aim for range or reload, and I say reload because that is probably the worst stat on this weapon, and it is also why I recommend tactical mag for the increased reload speed. The reload is just miserable, and while with shotties you're not reloading a ton, when you do with this weapon, you will feel it without these perks. It will be like being in the matrix when you reload. Everything just slows down. Overall, how would I compare this to my mind benders with slide shot and quick draw? I would say they are very close, but the Astral, you definitely have more of this, oh shit, I just mapped that guy moments, and the one-shot kill range is a lot more consistent in my experience. This resulted in me feeling a lot more confident in my shotgun's ability to one-hit kill versus feeling like I always need to follow up with a primary or melee ability. Now, obviously, if you've been playing at all this season, it's no secret that this is a high-performing shotgun, but it's not the only reason you need to grind for one. The other reason is somewhat controversial topic, and that's weapon retirement. Weapon retirement is something the game director of Bungie, Luke Smith, talked about in one of his director cuts. And for those not familiar with what weapon retirement is, it's when after a certain amount of time, let's say a year, your Mindbender's ambition will be unable to be further infused to a higher light level. It's not being taken away from you and you'll still be able to use it, but it's light level and thus its effectiveness in light, light level enabled activities like trials will be limited. Now, I'm not here to discuss on whether or not I agree with weapon retirement today, as that's a topic for another video, but I am curious to get your guys' thoughts on weapon retirement in the comments below. But knowing weapon retirement is on the horizon, no pun intended, makes farming for weapons like Astral Horizon and others even more important since a lot of people's current go-to weapon loadouts will no longer be usable after a certain amount of time. So we need to begin preparing our replacements of some of these god tier weapons that I mentioned. And that's why farming for Astral is even more crucial because it will replace Mindbenders along with Felwinter's Lie, which got leaked recently as one, if not the best shotgun bar none when Mindbenders gets retired. And that's even with the fact that Felwinter's based on the leak won't have quick draw, which in my opinion would make it even with all its perks, less of a shotgun, but because of light level being enabled for that weapon, or not so much enabled, but being able to be infused, it will still be the preferred option. And guys, I know Trials is not in the best state right now, but try to stomach through it, run with some friends, not take things too seriously, and farm for some tokens to try to get this weapon, guys. With that, 
Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe as it's a free way to support me. And if you want to see more moments like the clip you saw in the beginning, make sure you click the link down below to follow me on Twitch so you guys can see me live. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.